Oilers, what is happening right now? Are you seriously going to be relying on just Leon Dreisaitl to get you guys across the line? I mean, I get that the guy's a good player, but come on. There's only so much that the guy can do. The Oilers lose today 6-4 to four in the first game of their second round matchup with the Vegas Golden Knights. I'll say it once more, 6-4. to four. Leon Dreisaitl scored all four goals for the Oilers. Come on, man. You got to give a bit better of an effort than that. If I'm Leon Dreisaitl right now, I am absolutely furious at my team. Where's my depth scoring? Kane, where are you, bud? Hyman, a goal or two would be nice. McDavid was great as usual despite not being on the score line. The guy does so much off the puck that, I mean, he always just has a good game and he creates so much space for his teammates. And it's probably one of the reasons why Dreisaitl was able to get so many good opportunities. But, I mean, come on, man. Even Nugent Hopkins, where were you, man? Because I have news for you. If you depth pieces aren't chipping in to support your best players when you're supposed to, then let's not even bother, man. You guys are done. You're going back to the golf course. You're going to enjoy a nice early summer in Edmonton. This game looks a lot closer on paper than it should have been. Try settled, turned into a magician and was pulling out goals from his hat left, right, and center, and I'll have you know that this is not sustainable. Although Dreisaitl is a very good scorer, and he will probably get one or two goals in each game, four goals is just unheard of, and if the other players aren't doing stuff to support him, then, I mean, this is just a lost cause. The team is done. Also, I don't normally like to put the blame on goaltenders, but if I were the Oilers right now, I would probably pull Skinner and start Campbell next game. And I'll, I'll give you my reasoning as to why I feel that way. Skinner, although he has had some good stretches here and there, he's been pretty inconsistent. And he hasn't even really impressed me that much for, you know, the games that he's won. I mean, look at game six. He somehow managed to win that after letting in four goals, got extremely lucky, and they still put him in in this game one. He even got pulled at one point in the LA series. Jack Campbell went in while the Oilers were down and out. He played stellar. He got them back in the game, and he won them the game in overtime. And he hasn't gone to call back since. It's been Skinner. So I don't know. If I were the Oilers right now, I'd probably just mix it up a little bit. It's low risk. It's early in the series still. We've seen how goaltender changes have absolutely transformed teams with guys like Akira Schmidt and Sergei Bobrovsky just completely changing the whole dynamic of the Panthers and the Devils, so why not give it a shot? We'll see, man. Give me your thoughts in the comment section below on the game. I want to hear it. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and I'll be sure to catch you guys all in the next one. Peace out, and take care.